right, let's get this YouTube train rolling again. I'm out here today at Fuji Speedway and there's two things going on here today. The GTR meeting and the 1JZ meeting. So this is gonna be another one of those me walking around and looking at things videos. Let's do it. We're over in the pits behind the main grandstand. And the first thing I've seen is a corgi uh, in, a, in a dog pram. Okay. <laughs> okay. Let's continue. Alright, let's All right, so let's continue. Uh, first thing, so we have this entire area of GTRs to look at first, and then way over there uh, is the 1JZ meetings. Alright, first thing, that is a Nissan Z tune, and 002. So this is Z tune chassis number two. So this is a pretty good start to the day. And the second car on the stand is a, what looks like a genuine HKS 0R. So you can see here it says 0R on the back there. And it's got that 0R rear bumper on it. 34 GTR on Workmeisters. There's a lot of very nice stuff over this end of the show. Nice standard Bayside Blue R34 and also that is a uh, Suenaga's GTR. We'll be seeing that pretty soon at the FIA Drifting Cup at a diver. Here's the uh, JTC R32, which ran the RB26. Next to that's the uh, JGTC R34, but this one didn't run an RB26, I think it ran the VQ. I think the last car in JGTC to run the RB26 engine was the uh, Pennzoil R34. Ah, well everything's going V6 these days, isn't it? That reminds me, if you're wondering right now, hey Alexi, where's the beer can skyline, did you fix it? Yes, I did. Uh, here's what happened with that. As you saw in a previous video, I gave it to Igusa at K-Style and he pulled the engine out and did a fairly big service on it, changed the uh, head gasket, timing belt, water pump, uh, timing belt pulleys and stuff like that. And luckily for me, the engine was actually in really good condition. Here's some pictures of it. There was no rust in the cooling system and there was no like gunk in the head. So I think it was a good idea to actually fix that engine. So I drove it at the last Matsuri and it was doing really well, the engine was performing perfectly, everything was fine. I didn't take any video of it just because I hadn't really been driving it for a long time and I just wanted to enjoy just driving it for once. Unfortunately, here's what happened. Yeah, the guy in the JZX100 was uh, D1 Grand Prix and also formerly Drift Japan driver Taguchi. I thought I'd be able to trust myself to drive with him, but uh, turns out I couldn't. But don't worry about it, it's just a bunch of bent arms, so we'll be back at it every suit pretty soon. Just gotta replace those arms and she'll be right. That is a drag GTR just driving around there. Honestly, what's better than seeing a GDR dump it on all fours? Yeah, so here's the car park. Out the back, just uh, GDRs as far as the eye can see. There is nothing else in this car park apart from R32, R33, R34 GTRs. And it looks like a lot of them have already left, so it would have been full this morning. I'm sure some of you are already making plans to come out here. I think it would be a good idea because you've got this on and you've also got the 1J meeting at the same time. Yes, yeah, it's called the R's meeting if you want to look it up. All right, let's head over to the 1JZ meeting. Yes, let's go this way. Follow this guy. Sounds like there's some nice stuff on the front straight right now. Let's go have a look. Yeah. 
<laughs> I know what's up. Damn, that's a street car too. Look at that. These stripped out interior. It's on uh, works as well. That's completely stripped. Hmm. All right, I can see drifting over there. Let's go in. 1JZ meeting time, let's see what's here. Now we got show cars on the right and go cars on the left. You all know this guy, Suzuki, the voice of the one Grand Prix? No, I don't know you. Who? He doesn't know me apparently. Who? Who? Who, <laughs> Who are you? Yeah, if you've ever watched a D1 Grand Prix video, this is yes. the guy that goes crazy and yells all the time. Today, uh, one day that the drift meeting came to this midway drift course. You know. I know. What that's are you that's doing? why I'm here. What are you doing? What am I, what am I doing? Oh. What, what am I doing? Uh, I'm making a YouTube video. Uh huh. Only? Only. Not, not talk? Uh, no, no talking. <laughs> so, I'm talking. Always. His his job, like you know how I do the live stream videos, like that's he does that all the time. That's his, even here. That's his his announcer. So he's like a my idol. He's my idol. I look up to him. Really? Yeah. That's the announcer. The announcer. Oh. Okay. Okay. Senpai. Thank you. Thank you. Senpai. Senpai. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. I think it's uh drink time. Vending machine blog. Literally everything is sold out. Look. Sold out, sold out, sold out, so everything is sold out. If all those numbers matched, I would have got a free drink, but I didn't. This is Taka. Uh, he used to live in Queensland. What's up? See, look at this, look at his car. Queensland number plate. So there's Itasha even at these events. These are naturally aspirated 1JZ81 Mark II with a huge wing on the back. <laughs> oh, I didn't see it before, it's an Aristo, also Itasha. <laughs> Crown Estate uh, Crown Athlete Estate Wagon These are 1JZ turbo powered They only come in automatic unfortunately But you can quite easily convert them to be manual 
I don't know if there actually was a chaser police car ever. But he's got the legit light bar. So there's the control unit for the light system. And here's an easy way to tell if a car is an undercover cop car. They have these secondary mirrors on them. Sort of an easy way to tell if a car is a cop car or not. The one and only 70s Super here today. Actually, the owner's a friend of mine. <laughs> she's pretty cool. Her and her husband used, both used to drive 70s, but I think she's only got hers now. I know what some of you are thinking right now. NSX. I know what some of you are thinking right now. That was Johnny from Wells. I know what some of you are thinking right now. Well, it looks, don't you have a Mark II as well? Why isn't it running? Here's the story with that. Here it is, my Mark II. It's been sitting out in storage now for about four years. As you can see, it's currently missing the turbo, and that's the turbo there. It used to have this, an HKS GT2835 Pro turbo on it, but what happened was that's what the impeller ended up looking like, and I sent it off to HKS to get a quote to get it fixed, but unfortunately it's a, a part that they no longer make. So the car just sat here, with no turbo on it for the past four years. So pretty sad. What I need to do next is get that turbo back on it. That's a stock turbo I picked up. It's time to get the Mark II back on the street. Yes. 